Hey, but it's Jobby, and I hope y'all started off the new year right. And by that, I mean playing Swivel Man No Uta and Red Dress on repeat. Look up Jobby the Hong on Spotify. He is the swivel. I appreciate the patience, I got sick over the holidays anyway, the transform element oh. Leader is yet another not Optimus Prime figure and yet another example of third party Transformers companies absolutely crossing it. What are you doing, Takara? Now this figure's obvious official counterpart, the Transformers Masterpiece Optimus Prime 2.0, aka MP44, wasn't bad by any means, but he did have a lot of issues holding him back. Not to mention all those useless accessories that artificially jacked up the price. This figure comes to us at a beast of a value, but he doesn't include the iconic Autobot logo on his shoulder for obvious legal reasons, and this sad little sticker was all I had, but what, whatever. With everything set up as they should be, the painting and the sculpting on this figure makes MP44 a little redundant. OP leader here is also a cartoon accurate G1 Optimus Prime. The colors are bright and appealing, the detailing is beautifully minimal, but the paint job on this guy isn't as glossy, so he doesn't have that high quality finish. Matter of fact, most of the surfaces on this figure are left unpainted. Cheap might be a word that some of you guys use, but I would highly disagree. It just means that there is less paint on the figure to chip when you go and handle this guy. And believe me, you are gonna wanna handle this guy. But before I talk about how solid this figure is, let us address the elephant in the room room that back is clean look at the numbers people how is that even remotely excusable but is it just me or is the back on op leader a little too flat <laughs> but Joby, hypocrite that you are, you have based your entire Transformers figure critique on the basis of how flat their profile is. And now that you have a figure that is as flat as my little sister, you have the audacity to complain about it. You know, it's a, it's a minor qualm, it's definitely not a deal breaker or anything like that. No, it is clear that I have defeated you in intellectual combat. Hand over your channel and your ass. Shut the fuck, Thor. As a toy reviewer on YouTube, I feel that I reserve the right to demand perfection from my Transformers figures. And second of all, I've blown this situation way out of proportion. The back here is borderline perfect. There's really nothing to complain about here. It's accurate to some kind of source material as far as I can tell. But the blue stripe on his ass doesn't reach up all the way, making this figure not 100% show accurate 0 out of 10. <laughs> I'm just goofing you. I'm not gonna split hairs over butt detail. The figure might not be 100% show accurate, but then again, the show itself wasn't 100% show accurate, so it doesn't really matter. MP44 is as show accurate as TE01 over here. Y'all might disagree in the comments section. Please engage with my video. Another thing this guy has over MP44 is how ridiculous ridiculously solid he feels. Get a load of that shake test. And that's not even taking into account the potential knee issues that this guy has. I just... I, 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 I. OP leader is an absolute brick, but in a good way. And the heft that I feel is no doubt due to some die-cast metal parts, which are mostly internal based on what my cold touch technique can pick up, but I at least can detect some metal smokestacks and a metal ab section. And the quality of the plastic used here seems to be pretty high. I've been handling this guy for a few weeks now, and there's no signs of breakage or stress marks or anything like that. No matter how hard I decide to swivel the head up and down, Rotation at the antenna, which is more for the transformation, stay tuned. Rotation at the shoulder, arm moves out. And there's a little switch here that if you push down on it, allows you to activate a butterfly joint. Swivel here, bend at the elbow. A side bend, also more for the transformation. Swivel at the wrist, hinge joint, hinge joint at the thumb, hinge joint, hinge joint at the index finger, and a hinge joint, hinge joint at the rest of his three fingers. Swivel at the waist, no ab crunch. Some of you might protest to the lack of an ab crunch, but you guys protest too much, shut up. Front skirt moves out, allows the figure to kick. Leg moves back that far, and some side skirts that move out just enough for a beautiful spread. No thigh swivel, but you do get a knee swivel instead. Bend at the knee, a toe bend, and a lovely ankle pivot. Admittedly, the posability on this figure is not as great as MP44's, but 
I'm not mad. It's just good enough to pull off some perfectly acceptable dynamic poses, as you can see here. And you could also see he's holding his classic ion cannon that plugs into his hand. And there's a little white button that if you push it, the gun lights up. Batteries are included and pre-installed. Impressive as the light-up feature might be, I think that it would have looked a little better if they went with a yellow beam. Also, while we're on this instruction booklet, the head sculpt here is a lot different than what we currently have. And that's because out of the box, the figure had an entirely different head sculpt, which some people preferred, not including me. Fortunately, in later releases of the figure, you get an alternate head that is clearly modeled after one of the best aspects of MP44, that head sculpt. Looks fantastic, it just elevates the quality on this guy that much more. Unfortunately, the first time I ordered this figure, it didn't come with an alternate head. A lot of back and forth with TF Source ensued. Can can we get a like on this video for Rob from TF Source? My god, this overworked son of a bitch has been putting up with my bullshit for too long. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Can you put in the good word about me to TF Source? The figure also comes with a screwdriver to install your alternate head, but it sucks, don't use it. Now this is not so much of an accessory, more like a gimmick, but you can open up his window tits, revealing a matrix chamber. Now the matrix of leadership itself is a bit of a bitch to access, so I'm using a DX9 part separator. Shove it in that very cartoon accurate door. Harder than it sounds. Uh, that's a little more trouble than it's worth because it opens, revealing a not so impressive matrix of leadership, and you can't even remove it, as far as I know. It looks fine, actually looks a lot better when you put them next to all the other guys. And of course you get an Energon Axe. Position the hand in a very specific way that I will detail during the transformation. That allows you to fold up the hand, which reveals a little bar that allows you to clip on the axe. Looks as good as any G1 Optimus Prime with an axe hand, which is pretty damn good. And for the final accessory, we get a trailer hitch, which is unfortunately a case of Parts for me. It's completely optional, though, not a deal breaker. Sure, this figure might not come with a trailer, a roller, an anti aircraft gun, three mini figures, but he has the essentials. I couldn't be happier with the amount of accessories that you get with this guy. Especially when it doesn't cost $500. It's actually $450. Fuck off. Being a Masterpiece style Optimus Prime, of course the figure's gonna be pretty big. Here's Masterpiece MP10 Optimus Prime, my previous review, the Unique Toys Challenger, Masterpiece Megatron, and of course Masterpiece MP44 Optimus Prime. This guy pulls off what MP44 does for way less. And I'm aware that MP44 is due for a black repaint without all of the unnecessary accessories that I love to complain about, but it's still that much. Hmm. And of course, this guy also trans forms. Extend the skull cap, cover his face with it, turn the head around, and rotate his antenna. Now his hands have to be in a specific position. Make sure the index finger is covering the thumb like so. That's gonna allow you to shove his hand into his arm. Flip up this panel, close it back up, swivel that bicep, and bend that side elbow. Same thing on the other side. Open the chest, come to the back, and you're gonna wanna bring in your part separator because things are about to get Bucky. Split this part and untab that. That's gonna allow you to untab the whole side panel. Push this part, fold that up, same thing on the other side, and with the two side panels lifted, that should allow you to untab the back. Swivel this whole assembly, unfold these, lift them up, unfold even more. And okay, you're not supposed to flip these up just yet. Unhook the shoulder as if you're activating that butterfly joint, flip that all the way around, and now fold that up. Bend the elbow and you have a completed side of the cab. Same on the other side. Inside the chest proper, you can flip this down, flip these out, and over here, there is a little switch right there. You're gonna wanna reach in there and pull, hold that switch, and that unlocks this whole top section so you can pull it up. Has a tendency to fall back down, you wanna keep it extended during the transformation, but at least it won't snap back in unless you want it to. Extending this is gonna allow you to spin this whole ab section around. Flip up the gray, fold this up, and fold these in. We're gonna leave this mess as is for now, so let's move on to the Legs. Bend the knee just enough to reveal that part. Flip this panel. And the top of the thigh is actually a panel. You want to shift it down while rotating it. That could get a bit tricky, but continue to shift it down. Fold it up. Bend that knee back into position. Now the side of the thigh. Extend it. It is spring-loaded. And rotate it. Now for the bottom half of the leg. Open the front. Flip this down. Open the back. That folds all the way up. Untap this and unfold it. Foot folds up. This whole panel is going to fold all the way to the other side. Fold it more. These two 
parts peg in, pull this up, turn it around, continue to fold it up, and that allows you to close up the leg. Plug it in, fold this down, there's a panel here, and that plugs in. Shift the foot, and the same thing on the other leg. Now, untab the crotch, lift that up, untab the side skirts, untab his whole ass, and with this extended, you want to turn the whole crotch butt assembly around. Bend the legs back, fold the side skirts up, and fold them in. And these panels, you want to extend them, that's gonna allow you to flip them up. Not as straightforward as it seems, you actually wanna position the legs so that they go over the crotch plate and you wanna make sure that this whole assembly is extended like so. There you go. Easy peasy, my shoulders aren't breaking at all. Plug the legs together and now we deal with this. Let's continue to fold down that back panel, extend the smokestacks, and while you're folding down that back panel, you wanna fold in the side panels kind of part to describe you want to get this panel to wrap around this arm yeah basically like that same thing on the other side and continue to fold in those side panels these plug in fold the smokestacks out if i did that correctly i can close these side panels fold that out and this part plugs in same on the other side of course close the windows and now the front grill folds all the way up it might take a little pressure just adjust these panels here while you're shifting it up there you go and that snaps it rotators window wipers and you're done thinking about it more and more i feel that the transformation on this guy wasn't even that bad yes it's kind of annoying for sure but i actually had a better time handling that than mp44 and the resulting truck mode is awesome special mention has got to go to the back of the truck although you do get the typical optimus prime feet sticking out of it the actual bed itself is impressively clean even having a little bit of great detail not great detail great detail but for some people this may not look complete without a trailer hitch which we did mention earlier that simply plugs into there and yeah makes it look complete and i believe that this is actually compatible with mp10's trailer not mp44 my favorite trailer but that's okay because i don't even have a trailer to go with this guy i'm just gonna keep that removed and probably just put, if I can put it back in the box no parts forming necessary now another point of contention for some people might be the fact that this figure does not feature an interior at all you do just get the matrix chamber through those windows might be considered a little ugly but i think it looks perfectly fine and you know how unnecessary i find minifigures in the first place so the fact that you can't fit in a miniature shia labeouf in this truck mode does not bother me in the least it holds together extremely well better than mp44's truck i might add and it even has a set of rubber tires that allows it to roll there's definitely not much to complain about about at all for this truck mode even the bottom of the truck is really clean as clean as this swivel here t-shirt available in the description and this truck mode is about as big as you'd expect here's mp10 challenger masterpiece megatron i've already transformed a bunch of figures i'm not transforming this guy and mp44 there's something very satisfying seeing all these truck modes in a row and they all look fantastic in their own way but when you take their robot modes into account the transform element op leader is the clear winner of the bunch and of course I'm sure a lot of Takara bootlickers are screaming their asses off right now. <laughs> this is the perfect alternative for those who care about their organs. It goes without saying that this guy is my favorite G1 Optimus Prime figure that I own. You'll definitely be seeing this guy in more size comparisons in my future toy reviews. Subscribe for my future toy reviews. And you can see more of my Transformers reviews in my Transformers playlist. Link in the description. I'm definitely gonna be talking about more third-party Transformers figures in the future, so binge away! Lord knows I'm gonna need that revenue. <laughs> and for those of you who are tired of my Transformers reviews at this point, well, I've got a lot of options. <laughs>